Let's welcome back to the show Eric McCormick and Deborah Messing. <laughs> the show would be this it's huge loving loving it's loving sweet. Is huge. It's them. Mm -hmm. yeah it's nice though isn't it nice? Yeah. now is it true eric that on the audition that deborah you didn't think that you were all scruffy and you didn't know if she what happened then? well I, I i went to network early on with uh with a girl i got the part she didn't so it was then this month-long me auditioning with lots of of girls, none of them, all of them good, none of them right. And we had this final audition, it was at Jim Burroughs' house, Deborah and two others. It was all very top secret, and it was on a Sunday, and these ex executives were coming in. I had shot uh, an independent film till 8.30 in the morning that Sunday. Uh, my mother, God bless her, had a heart attack the day before. She's fine. But I, so here I am, I haven't shaved, I haven't slept, and I'm going to be Will with three different women, and I'm just thinking about my mom. So it was just ridiculous. I looked like the last guy in the world who should be playing Will Truman. But uh, th the first two came in, it was fine, and then Deborah came in and it just right you know, lit up the room and everyone was like, okay, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal right now. <laughs> you know, let's sign her up. She's not even in the limbo and Burroughs is like, honey, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. <laughs> So. And is it true, Deborah, that you were drunk when you found out you got the role? <laughs> She's drunk now. I already know. <laughs> no, I wasn't drunk when I got the role. Before, you, I, before I auditioned with him, yeah. I had just wrapped another another show, and I didn't know if I if I could even audition. And the, Max and Dave, our executive producers, came over to my house with a liter of vodka and a lime, and said, "Okay, we want you at audition. Let's drink." And over the course of three hours, we finished the bottle and got rip roaring drunk and cut to the next like next day me auditioning with him. Oh, so you were hungover? <laughs> I was hungover. I was a mess, but wow. you know they were my new buddies because we got drunk together and I'm a lightweight. So you can tell they, they wanted her more than me because they came over to my house with just a lime. Right. So yeah, that's but not I was, right. I was easy it's target wrong. at that point. Now, did you do a lot of sitcoms before this? Or I did one before one. this. It what was, was it called? Uh, it was called Ned and Stacy, and I played Stacy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was cute. It was the blonde guy. Yes, Ned. that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Thomas Hayden Church. It was on Fox for two years, and it was my very first job um, on primetime television. And how about you, Eric? Did you do a sitcom before this? No, I did a little. I did a few episodes of Townies, playing Jenna Elfman's boyfriend. Uh, I didn't last very long. Like 13 episodes. Less um, people saw that yeah. than that. <laughs> I did. This was I did the uh, the pilot for the Jenny McCarthy show, and I was supposed to be this continuing character, and then decided to go a whole other way with it. So I was basically fired. And a year later, when we shoot the pilot of Will and Grace, uh, Warren Littlefield, who was running the show at the time, or running NBC, came up to me and said, "Aren't you glad I fired you?" And I said, "Yes, thank you so much." <laughs> oh, she's that's funny, cool. Jenny McCarthy. Too, she's I funny. She's the show very, just kind of didn't know where it, what it wanted to be, but yeah, she's but funny. I think you know she's got a good comic timing. Yeah. I think she's gonna yeah. get something that fits her. She's really smart, I think. Fits are very tight, I'm assuming. Yeah, I guess. Like most things do. Um, now, you guys, what's the car situation? You got a car from the network? Oh, good Lord, Rosie. Yeah. That was a long time ago, though, right? Yes. They... But that feels nice. What, what do they say when they give you a car? What do they, like, how does it happen? Rosie, it was so ridiculous. It was, I mean, it was, we were on for a year. And, you know, all of us were sort of just schlubby and just, you know, we don't, we, you know, we were just sort of hiking, hitchhiking to work, yeah. you know, expecting yeah. our show to be canceled. Right. And I guess the, sh the show went well over that summer and we just went out for lunch, just celebrating that we were still on the air. And we walked out and there were four cars waiting and they said, this is a thank you. And that's pretty nice. Yeah. It was crazy. And we said, yeah. you're welcome. And yeah. we said, welcome. And we said, my gosh. And, and I actually had, had been renting a car for three years at the time, seriously, and had just been looking to buy a car. And so I was, like, grateful because... You needed one. <laughs> I needed one very bad. And what kind of car was it? it uh, they were Porsches. It was <laughs> seriously? Listen, I'm telling you, get a series. Get a television series. Yeah. All of you. It's, it's really, I, I thought I they were Volkswagen bugs, someone told me. They were not Volkswagen bugs. I, they should have been. They were Porsches. They should have been. Yeah. Wow, so you know yeah. that you must have known that they were happy there at the network. We haven't seen anything since. No, no. 
Well, that's sort of a cover the whole season one. gift. Yeah. You know, that's whole, yeah. covers the whole run. They're done. Now, um, what's it comes to you watch when you were little? Were you a big fan? Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, repeats of I Love Lucy, Carol Burnett, um, Mary Tyler Moore, Laverne yeah. and Shirley. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tracy Ullman. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I'm a little older than Deborah. I watched first run I Love Lucy. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, my, my big one was Get Smart. Absolutely. I my, love my Get thing. Smart, yeah. too. Yeah. And, and I, 99. You know, I, again, I was watching repeats, but I was young enough that I believed that it was real. And then one day I remember hearing that it's not real. He gets paid to do that. Right. And then I heard that he won an Emmy, which I didn't know what that meant, but I thought, ooh, okay. <laughs> You get paid and you win something, I gotta do that job. That's right. what I gotta do. Right. You know, my son still doesn't get it. He's six and we watched Apollo 13 because he's very interested in space, space. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, honey, you know him. That's Chester and Truman's daddy. And um, Parker says to me, Mom, how do you know an astronaut? Yeah. I go, well, he's not an astronaut. He's <laughs> pretending to be an astronaut. He's an actor. He's like, no, look, he's in the ship. You know, like, but has he seen your movies? Does he get that you, you, know like, you were a baseball were... player or that you were, you know, they have dominatrix? The... So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only movie of mine that they've seen is Tarzan. You know, and there's something... What about Betty Rubble? They yeah. haven't seen that. Oh, that would you'd be like, forget about no, it. No, there's something really sad about, you know, my son Blake <laughs> is almost two and he really can't speak. Yeah. And yet when he, we put the tape in of Tarzan and the monkey starts to talk right away, he's dead. Mama! 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 It looks strikingly like his mother. Um, and speaking of I Love Lucy, I love this Entertainment Weekly where you guys are on the cover and they dressed you up in all different... Uh, Lucy and Ethel and Sonny and Lucy and Ricky and Sonny yeah, and Cher. Look, look at that. that. It's, you know, you really do look like her in this crazy. picture. They did think? an amazing job. They really, with like the hair and the makeup and the costuming and the. I mean, look at this, Sonny and Cher. I mean, look at him. Could you could you even tell that that's him? Yeah. Look at the face. As yeah, my mother this would say. is. Look at the punum. There's a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot of great pictures in this. Uh, one of the best issues of this magazine I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really. We had fun. a really good time. Well, we're going to come back with Megan and Sean after this, and uh, Karen and Jack, as you know them, and just Jack. We'll be right back. So don't go. Away. It's a Depends moment for the entire nation. Take a look. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Megan Mullally and Sean Hayes. sit down there. The chair, yeah. like, met me right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Do you want That's the footstool there, Meg? I need a stool. You need the yeah. footstool. There you go. go. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Oh, how like about it. that? I like it. Now, you guys, do you improvise any of the stuff that's on there? Because everybody asks me that. They go, is that written or they make it up? No, the writing is so good that there's really no need to improvise lines. Although, when we're holding for laughs, we'll improvise. Yeah. Because you just, you're just filling. There was one thing you created, though, was the, a few weeks ago, the, uh, the charge card in, in the oh, uh, yeah. in the yeah. Yeah. We were yeah. around. That was them on stage, just fooling around. <laughs> yeah. The ATM. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's it's very very funny to watch the chemistry right away. Was it when you did you audition together or? No, I didn't meet. Uh, well, Sean. I met Deb. We're not allowed to speak on the set. The first time we've <laughs> right. been allowed to interact. It's very awkward right now. Yeah, <laughs> they keep keep us separate. Um, yeah, no, the first time that 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 we met was the first read through over at. Uh, one of these extra Max. producers' houses, <laughs> Max. Oh yeah, Max. Um, and uh, but I had met Deb briefly because we did an episode of Ned and Stacy where we didn't have any scenes together, but yeah. we just met. Yeah. And so you guys, was it written that the sparring between you, or did that develop out of the fact that you guys sort of meshed? I think with Sean and I, uh, 
that developed from our the rapport that we had right away just as friends you know we got along really well and we had all these ideas of because our character didn't our characters didn't have any interaction in the pilot at all right and then in the first episode was when, when we had our first scene together yeah now Sean, are you nervous about the uh, Emmys um this Sunday they're on by the way he's a wreck barring any uh, anything they're on this Sunday and uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know that you won already yeah. Yeah. So you're all Thanks. four nominated, all four of you, and, yeah. he, and the show. Now, is it, it's it's got to feel weird. It's the weirdest year for for this. It's been put off mm -hmm. twice. Or, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I'm a little nervous. I hope the same thing doesn't happen then that happened to me today, which was I had a suit <laughs> all ready to wear for you, yeah. and I forgot to pack the pants. <laughs> Oh, I so, don't know why that could have oh. stopped you. <laughs> but I know I knew it was like a little cad show, so I actually looked in the mirror. I'm just wearing underwear and this shirt with a jacket. I was like, maybe? No, I no, put no, some pants no, no. I better put some pants. But the rumor is that you moon the whole cast. Is this on, true? On a daily basis. On a daily yes. basis. Do it right yeah. now. That's what I did. I remember during first, Greece. Yeah, I was, was the mooner too. I wish you'd do it now. No, thank but you. It's a <laughs> the children. <laughs> the, first time, the first time he ever, that Sean and I made a plan, we made a plan to see a movie after we met, and so he said that he'd come and pick me up. It's nice, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so the doorbell rings, and it's a little early, and I run to the door, and I open it, and he's like, hey, you ready? And he's standing there, and his pants and his underpants are down, like, on the sidewalk. <laughs> and he's just, like, in a t-shirt. He's like, so, let's uh, hit the road. <laughs> Or the time when the entire uh, NBC was showing everybody, every cast, every crew, this special uh, a video on sexual harassment in the workplace and how what things not to say and things not to do, risky behavior. We watched it in the dark. It was really kind of dull for 45 minutes. Lights came up. Sean said, "Well, that was very informative. Thanks, everybody." And got up. His pants were down. You got to walk up. And, ah, stunning. I'm, I'm on medication right now. <laughs> Join the club, buddy. Yeah. yeah. It should clear up. It by the starts end of the week. with the moon. Before you know it. <laughs> now, Sean, you did uh, a movie, Billy's First Screen Kiss. My mom calls it Billy Holiday Goes to Town. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's not right either, but, but that, that's fine. It's close, right? It's close enough. Okay. That was your first big thing? That's what really got you seen for this movie? Yeah, yeah. It was at Sundance, and uh, some I got called in for... Um, actually, they, they wanted me to read for Will, but then I was stuck at Sundance, and by the time you know, it was done, they, they had cast Eric, and, and they said we'd read for Jack, and I said, sure, so... So there Versus, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was uh, a very exciting story. Uh, I read for Grace originally, and then when I went back in to read for Karen, they had absolutely no memory of me whatsoever. Yeah. So I made such a splash reading for Grace. Yeah. <laughs> but that happens a lot. People don't realize, I think, when a new show comes out, that sometimes, you know, you go to audition on League of Their Own. I went to audition for the part of the girl who could hit really good but couldn't talk. Yeah. And then when I was at the audition, they're like, maybe you should read for the one who never shuts up. <laughs> you know? yeah. So that's how it works. Are you still, are you watching the uh, reality shows oh, still? Oh, yeah. Amazing race. Everybody? Oh, I watch them all, but no. love. No? Real yeah. world, that's Deborah and I, are, we, we have kind bonded of, over it. The other night, as a matter of fact, we had a taping and we were real tired. And I knew Deborah needed a little pick-me-up, so I said, don't forget that uh, Amazing Race is on tonight. And she literally started crying. She was so happy. Like, tears sprang <laughs> into her eyes. Who do you think's so going to win that? Uh, oh, I don't know. I love the, we love the frat boys. I love the those and frat daughter. boys, too. I think Ken, boys the great. big guy Ken. Yeah, yeah, the, frat, so the frat guys are great, but I also think Margarita. <laughs> Yeah. 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 There's one she year rocks, Margarita. She? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I love the mother and daughter. Uh, they're, they're out of there. Why do you think they're it is the guys don't right watch? Now. Why don't take you boys? <laughs> no, come back. <laughs> Why don't you watch? You don't enjoy the, the reality shows? I, I don't. I don't. You don't watch, watch any of them? Survivor? Oh, no. Survivor's great. No. Amazing Race. I know. Amazing Grace. Oh. Amazing Grace. There you go. What's your favorite show on TV, Sean? You watch a lot of TV? Or um, really? I watch uh, Trauma Life in the ER and the Learning Channel. I, re I tape it every week. Yeah. Um, and I really like uh, I really like Scrubs, the new show. Scrubs. That's a very funny show, yes. I think. That's a really good show. And. Um, that's, That's it. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of TV, Eric, or no? Not a lot. No. Um, still loving The Simpsons after 12 years. Still mm -hmm. think it's the best show on television. Um, 
A lot of the time, I just watch, uh, I just watch tapes of our show. I just yeah. all day long. Just, what's this, Janet? Oh, okay. <laughs> I always sort of feel bad for you guys when I'm watching it. I'm like, because they don't, you guys don't get to laugh at it. You know, like I'm at right. home sometimes, cracking up, going, they missed this whole thing because they're there. Right. You know, you, you know, know never... what's so funny though? It's like when when I read the scripts, I laughed out loud. I laugh out loud. I really truly believe we have the best writers in television. Yeah. I mean, yeah, very very funny. You don't see it coming. So many times on sitcoms, you can so see it coming, especially if you're an entertainer yourself. You go, oh, they're going to hair. They're going to go. But I always end up dying laughing on that show because I never see where it's coming you from. You know what's nice. amazing about what they've done with these characters is the writers have created a situation where any of our characters can go anywhere. Any, any, we can sort of start liking anything or get a job doing anything. or Anything is possible for any of us, and that's so unusual. Because a lot of times, particularly with the Will and Grace characters and other shows, they get stuck being kind of like the lead people or something, and they can't do any of the crazy stuff. And you guys get to just ha what, what your where your characters have gone is so amazing. Yeah, they can, I they can mix us up in different ways yeah. and create different. Yeah, it's scenarios. it's very very funny. It's too bad you have to be in it because watching it is so entertaining. <laughs> uh, we're gonna come back with the cast of Will and Grace. We're gonna play a game, and you guys are gonna win something. Trust me, you always. Do. <laughs> A big shindig? No, it was it was small. All the people here were it's were there. Beautiful. It was yeah. very it was small and intimate and and mm. really just wonderful. Who sang there at the wedding? Sean, did you sing? I did not sing. Megan, sang. you sang. What did you sing, Megala? I sang their song. Our song. Which is? You are nearer. You are nearer. You are nearer. Standard. It's oh, an old standard that yeah. actually came from a Broadway show, I think. Really? It did. But well, I can't even tell you which one it's from. But since you're all such Broadway buffs, we have a little game in the next segment oh, that's yeah. going to incorporate your knowledge of Broadway and singing. Oh, we're history. Oh my oh, God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know the thing to remember when playing games on this show: win, lose, doesn't matter. Audience gets the prize. Yeah. Okay. Some pretty uh, crazy fan stories. Craziest thing anyone's ever done? Anything crazy? Fans? Yeah. Mm. Just some people come every I, taping. I had a I had a woman who who caught me in a store, a, a boutique, and I never go shopping. And I came out, and it's one of those things where the mirror's on the back of your door, so you have to come out to look at it. Yeah. And she was literally like paying for her stuff, and she paid for it, and then she took a chair and sat down right outside my door and just did one of these. She's like, no. No. Mm -mm. No. And I was like, no. She goes, no, no, no. Okay, next one. And I'm like, wow. And literally for the next hour and a half, every time I would come out with a piece, she's like, oh, make you look fat. Go back in. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went out with nothing. I was like, thank you, and you are. She's, you know, she's yeah. like, call me whenever you need help. I was like, okay. <laughs> I told my mother never to go outside the house. I told Sean about this one. This was just this morning at the Starbucks. I go in. I haven't even showered yet. I'm waking up. And the girl behind the register says, you you look, you look like uh, that guy in Will and Grace. And I said, yeah, I get that a lot. And the other girl working the espresso machine, who I swear was Nell Carter, she looked over at me, she looked at me and she said, mm -hmm, I'd like to wake up to that. I like a piece of that. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you. I, you know, I haven't even showered yet. She said, well, I'd like to watch when you do. Oh. She's like yelling at the Starbucks. That's why you love New York, love right there. that lots of people when they meet you they expect you to be more jackish yeah. you know because like when we went out to dinner with some friends and they said he's so serious I go, what did you expect them to do in like a big show for you in the middle of Italian <laughs> show food? 940. Exactly. You know? uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I guess so. I, I don't, you know, I try to save all my energy for the show. Right. You know, that crazy energy, but uh, I'm pretty, you know, I'm, this is boring. how I am. Boring. Pretty much you. And boring. Pretty boring. boring. Yeah, and your family must be very, very proud of you. Yes. Oh, I need to say happy birthday Go ahead. to my brother Mike. I just did it. <laughs> Mike. Uh, Mike is, oh, I think, 53 now. <laughs> yeah, now he's yeah. like, thir wait, is that? 38, 36. He's 36. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mike. And Thank Megala, you. when is your, um, how's your record doing? Oh, you know, it's good, but we just put it out ourselves, so we might want to think about going with a label or something. Yeah. We just sell it on our website. Yeah, it's on the website, right? Yeah, and we sold it all out now. We have to make more, but. Yeah, but it's fun. Yes. Megan and I were in Greece together, Tony nominee. Did you win a Tony? 
Uh-uh. Ever? Mm -mm. For how to succeed? Did Not you? that I recall. Were you nominated? <laughs> for how, to how to succeed? You no, weren't? No. You were never nominated? No, no. Well, shut me up. You should have been. Uh, but she does have an Emmy, and they're all nominated, so watch Sunday and see them win. But we're going to come back and play a game with them and win you a prize. So don't go away. Shot are all Broadway busts. We're going to play a game that challenges their knowledge of show tunes. We call it This the Show Tune Showdown, Showdown, Showdown. This is the Showdown of Show Tunes. I don't know the song. Woo! I, I haven't learned that song. It's all season. It's all right. Here's what we're going to do I'm going to name a word, and you have to try to buzz in, those will be your buzzers, and sing a Broadway song that contains that word. Like. If I said knock, you would buzz and then say, it's a hard knock life. Yeah. Exactly right! But yeah. well, you're not getting a point for that one. That was just oh, warm up. The first player to buzz in and sing gets a point, and then uh, his or her teammate can sing a second song for another point. Most points oh, when time's up wins. Yeah. You guys ready? I know, it's like forever oh, to get ready? through this okay. Eric and Deborah, you're playing for that part of the audience. You're playing for that part, but everyone's getting it. Hands on your buzzers. Here's your first word. Street. Yes, Sean. I'm on a street and I can't see because um, there's lots of buildings in the way. Liar, liar. I'm saying no. You, you forfeit your turn. Street. Broadway song. No. No, it's just on the street where you... There's a point. Street. Um, street for an extra point. Let's get the drum roll. Yes! 42nd Street! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I said that. Yeah. All right. That's two points for I'm you. Just and... I'm just playing. We can start playing now. Okay, good. Now that you're warmed up. Here's the next word. No, you ready? 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 Oh. Yes. Anything! Yes, Sean! And it goes! <laughs> that's right! That's a point! <laughs> Notes, but still, the song was correct. I think I was close. Anything, Megan. I'm gonna do anything, anything for you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Two points. Here we go. Card number three. The word is Broadway. Yes, Sean. Give my regards to Broadway. Excellent. Let's go. Broadway rhythm has got me. Everybody dance. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, here's a tip. Just hit it no matter what she says. That's good. I like, look like you did that first time. Yeah. No yeah. way. I'd like, I'd like to give Megan an extra point for the choreography. Can we that do that? That's good. Hey, hey. She did, everybody? Oh. I cheated for you. Shut up. I sang 42nd Street. Oh. All right, shut up. Here we go. Dance. Yes, Megan. Dance 10, look three, however that goes. Yeah. You have to sing it. You have to sing it, Megan. You know it. Sing you know it. it. Dance, 10 looks, I sing it. Keep Dance, going. 10 looks, 3, I don't know it. Oh, you so know it. Yeah, no, I so don't. Good. I'm stupid. I have a bad memory. I sang the word dance. What do you want from me? <laughs> no, no, no. All right, I fine. Miss Rara, let's play along for the fun value. I don't know. Sean, go ahead, dance. Go ahead, dance. No, no. A oh. song with dance. Um, I don't know. Think about it. Dance. There's a new show that just opened. ABBA. Quick. Dance. Dance and Queen. Oh, no, you're not that getting one. that. Forget it. That's not Broadway. All right, what's, let me see. That is Broadway now, Mamma Mia. Uh, two and six. Looks like you guys are losing. Ready? <laughs> this might help. Here's the word. Don't. Good, Eric. Um, you can, uh, do you can do it. Do it? I can? Yes. Don't. Yes. Okay. Um, don't. Don't. Tell me. Don't talk of love. Last of I don't know. Ah, you're getting nothing. How can you not know don't? And if you don't know this, you're in trouble. Go. Don't tell me not to love. That's it! Or, did you do don't Now you got another one. Go ahead. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh, That's two for them. Look at them kicking butt. Eight to two. All right, here we go. Sorry, guys. Oh. We're doing our best. You ready, Eric? Uh. Ready? Kiss. Yes. Oh, 
really gave that one. Uh, kiss me, Kate, darling, angel divine. And now I will never be, now I will never be mine, mine. Okay, you know what, we just need to. John is saying yes, that's good. I didn't know. No, I, no, I, no, I thought you one. were making it up. No. All right, fine. Exactly. Don't get all, don't get all upset with me. Go ahead, Will. I got another point nervous after all the while, like I was fraud. <laughs> no, no, you were fine. Kiss. I got one. Kiss. 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 Uh, yes! From the bar song. <laughs> Excellent. Here we go. Card number seven. Night! Yes, Megan. Uh, huh. Didn't have one. Oh! oh yeah. Um. Dream Girls. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Night. Oh, oh, that's Sorry. Okay, You're not yeah, getting the point. Go. Night. You have one? Yeah. Go ahead. Midnight, not a sound from the pain. <laughs> He just has to be night? Yeah. All right, let's see if he can think of a different right. one. Why? They're, they're contesting that. They say midnight is not technically night. You know what you're going to I'm going to sing. Go ahead. I'm going to sing You go. Tonight. You go. Sing night, anyone you want. Dream girl. Dream girls. What are you talking about? Dream, Dream girls. girls. Jennifer um, Holliday. Um. Huh, huh, huh. I got it, I got it. Yes? The night is young, the sky is clear, ah. and if you'd like to go walking, dear, it's delightful. It's delightful. Oh, yeah. The Dream Girls yes. album, and you don't know a song with night in it? One night only. Thank you! Oh. Come on, it's really, the best really. song! Give me another night. Give me another night. Night day, you are the one. Oh, good. 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 You and the Excellent. Night All right, and we're going to take a break and come back with the bonus round, and we're going to see who can win the watch for their group after this break. Don't go anywhere. Well, and Grace, for our show tune showdown, I've been told from the judges that unless you sing, you're not going to get the points. Mm -hmm. There are three more questions. There are five points each. This is the bonus round. Feel free to buzz in when you know a Broadway show that contains the word good. Yes, Eric McCormick. All good gifts around us. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Megan, good. For an extra five points. She's just calling that. Yeah. Good. She went down. Good. Good. Time's up. I'm sorry, Megan. Deborah. 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 I mean, Deborah. <laughs> I'll... But you know, if you want to take five from Megan, that's no, fine. No, you, <laughs> you don't take five, you just don't get the bonus oh, five. Sorry. The score is now eight to 11. You five points, two more clues. <clears throat> the word is. Love. Yes, Eric McCormick. Oh, no, I'm it's actually Deborah that hit that. So it's you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, look it. In there. Look, wait a minute. Give me that. Look, doesn't it look like it's over here? I think it was us. Yeah. That's one I'm, of those backwards I'm, TV things. Sorry, it's you, Sean. And is the it, word is. Is it us? That's you. It's oh, you. Okay. The word is love. Um, <laughs> love. Oh, my God. From a Broadway show. Uh, Sean Hayes. Alan. Go. Love. Go, Megan Mullally. I'm in love. I'm in love. You're not getting the 10 for that. Okay, uh, Sean, love. Love. Um, love. Oh, my God. Love. Uh, Broadway it's, show. It's so easy. The it's difficult. Show. Love's in the air. Hey, Oliver. Love is in the air. Quite Stop. clearly. Sorry, it's time was up. Yes. The score is now 13-11. Yes, yes, yes. Whoever gets this will be the winner. If you don't answer both, <laughs> the other team will steal. Ready? Sun. No, wait, she didn't finish the word. Yes, I did. She got, I didn't even hear it. Yes, sun. I didn't even hear it. Sun will come. Up. That's not. Wait. What do you have? Now, can it be either sun or sun? Sun. Which sun? Can, can, it, be, can it be any word that sounds like sun? Yes. in a pinchback suit. Back to L.A. 
he's going to be in the play Platonically Incorrect at the Acme Theater in Los Angeles, November 5th through the 19th. And Eric, what did you want to say? Don't well, you? as you know, if you watched the show this year and the end of last year, uh, Jack, turns out, has a 12-year-old son he knew nothing about. Right. And he's just starting to get to know him. And I have been given the go-ahead by our producers to officially, in front of millions of people, offer you the role of Elliot's mother. Seriously? Will and Grace. I did an episode of Allie McBeal. I was so nervous, I kept forgetting my lines. <laughs> and then they kept saying, it doesn't matter. It's tape. Just keep That's going. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Back, yeah. Well, I would love to do it. It's a wonderful show. And uh, tune in and watch it, won't you? Tomorrow, John Travolta will be here. Also, Broadway's Mamma Mia. <laughs> oh, so thank you, the cast of Will and Grace. Thank you so much.